Marami na tayong types ng probability na na-discuss. Meron tayong classical probability, meron tayong conditional probability, at marami pang ibang probability um, topics na na-cover dito sa statistics. Now, for today, ang gagamitin naman natin, uh, or ang matututunan natin ngayong bagong probability concept will be binomial probability experiment. Now, in this particular experiment, meron tayong conditions na kailangan mo na masatisfy bago natin magamit or makonsider na binomial or binomial probability experiment yung given problem. Yung unang-una, kailangan daw, yung first condition nyo, yung experiment nyo ay merong fixed number of trial. Yung second condition, the trials are independent. The third condition, each trial needs to have two um, outcomes, yun yung success at saka yung failure. At yung last condition ng isang binomial probability experiment will be the probability of success is consistent for each trial. Ito yung bagong notation na gagamitin natin para sa binomial probability experiment. B, parenthesis, N times P, where N is your number of trials and P is your probability of success. So ito yung bagong notation na gagamitin natin sa type of probability na ito. Now, ito yung mga notations or mga variables na gagamitin natin sa binomial probability. So, we have X, N, P, and Q. Now, sa formula na makikita nyo mamaya, makikita nyo yung mga letters na yan. At yung mga letters na yan is basically X, which is the number of success. Small letter N will be your number of trials. P is your probability of success. And Q is the proportion of your failure. So, basically, it's the complement of P or 1 minus P. Now, bago tayo magsimula, babanggitin ko lang na it's very important to recognize if an experiment is a binomial probability. Otherwise, hindi natin magagamit yung formula. So, ito yung una nating example. So, sa example na to, kailangan ma-satisfy natin yung four conditions bago natin magawa yung procedure ng pagkuha ng um, binomial probability. So, Marcus decided to guess on a 10-item multiple choice test, and each problem has five choices. What is the probability that Marcus will get seven of the questions correctly? So, nang hula lang daw si Marcus, at dun sa multiple choice test niya, meron siyang um, mga choices na A, B, C, D, and E, kasi five choices. So, ang kailangan natin gawin is set up muna yung uh, problems and also to satisfy if it's a binomial probability experiment. And uh, dito sa problem na to, nasatisfy niya naman yung apat. Kasi one, meron siyang fixed number of trials, which is yung 10-item test. Two, yung probability of success niya is consistent dahil ang, ang probability na makakuha, ma makakuha ka ng tamang sagot for letter A, B, C, D, or E will be the same, which is 20%. Tapos dalawa lang yung um, possible outcome, either pumasa siya, or makuha niya yung tamang sagot, or makuha niya yung maling sagot. At saka yung trial nyo is independent, which means yung uh, sagot nyo or yung problem number one is not dependent sa problem number two. So, um, independent siya all throughout the trials. So, na-satisfy mo yung four conditions, ready ka nang mag-solve nitong probability, which is, kailangan natin mahanap yung probability na kung saan makakakuha daw si Marcus ng exactly seven items of the test correctly by just guessing alone. So, ito yung ating mga um, variables. Yung number of trials natin, which is N, given is 10 kasi 10 item yung test. Yung X nyo is number of success at kailangan daw makakuha si Marcus ng 7 points out of the 10 possible points. Tapos yung probability of success nyo is 1 over 5 kasi meron 5 choices. So meron kang 20% na probability na makukuha mo yung tamang sagot by guessing. At yung probability of failure or makuha mo yung mali will be 80%. So obviously, mas malaki yung probability na mali yung makukuha mo dito sa test na ito. Now, sa pagkuha or sa paggamit ng binomial probability formula, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng sagot. So, pag ginamit nyo itong formula na to, makukuha nyo yung probability na kung saan makakakuha ng exactong 7 items or 7 out of 10 si Marcus dito sa test na to, which is combination of n taken x times p to the x times q to the n minus x. And by plugging in all the values dito sa formula natin, kailangan nyo gamitan ng calculator to kasi hindi nyo naman manually makukompute yung uh, mga exponent na pagkalalaki na yan, tapos yung multiply nyo ulit. So, meron tayong C, or combination of 10 taken 7, times 0.20 raised to 7, times 0.80 raised to 
3. And using your calculator, ang lalabas sa inyo will be 7.864 times 10 to the negative 4. Means and it's 7.864 and some numbers, then E to the negative 4. Kapag kinonvert nyo tong number na to, scientific notation into decimal form, ang kakalabasan nyo is 0 0.0007864, which is very small. So, ang probability daw na si Marcus ay makakakuha ng eksaktong 7 out of 10 kapag nag-guess siya or nang hula lang siya doon sa 10 item test will be 0.079%. So, wala pang 1%. So, napakahirap na makakuha ng isa or 7 out of 10 si Marcus kapag ka nag-take siya ng 10 item test na kung saan manghuhula lang siya. So ito yung paggamit ng binomial probability formula sa pagsagot nitong probability question na ito. Now gamitan naman natin ng calculator or technology yung uh, um, binomial probability. So, in some calculator, meron kayong uh, function dyan na kung saan makukuha nyo agad yung sagot without using the formula that I just presented. So, same problem, Mark is guessing on a 10 item test and hoping he gets 7 of the questions correctly given that these are all your numerical values for that problem. 10 number of trials, 7 is your number of success, 0.20 is the probability of success, and 0.80 is your probability of failure. Sa TI-84, ang gagamitin yung uh, syntax doon sa calculator nyo will be second, then yung vars, at pag nagpunta kayo sa vars, hanapin nyo lang si binom PDF. Sa binom PDF, press enter, tapos sihingan kayo niya ng tatlong parameters or tatlong numerical values para doon sa formula. So, ang First number nyo will be your number of trial, comma, second number will be your P or probability of success, comma, and then yung X, which is 7, yung number of success. At pagka ginamit mo yung calculator nyo, hindi nyo na kailangan gamitan pa ng combination and then yung exponent, lalabas na agad si probability of X equal to 7, which is 7.864 times 10 to the negative 4. So, ito agad yung makukuha yung sagot without using the formula or without just manually doing the formula and using the calculator the long way. So the probability that Marcus will get 7 out of 10 by guessing on the test is close to impossible. Kasi nga, wala pang 0.1% yung probability na makakakuha ka ng um, 7 questions correctly dito sa test na to. Now since gumagamit na tayo ng calculator, uh, mag-present pa tayo ng mas maraming problems na kung saan gagamitin natin yung calculator sa pag-solve no problem. So, parehas na problem pa rin si Marcus nang huhula lang sa sampung uh, item test. Now, dito sa question na to, um, inequality yung gagamitin natin. What will be the probability of getting at most seven of the questions correctly by guessing? So, ngayon naman, hindi eksaktong seven yung uh, um, tamang sagot na i-compute natin. So, ngayon naman, paano naman kung at most or greater than or less than or equal to 7 yung makukuha nyo. So, pwedeng makakuha ka ng 1 na tamang sagot, pwede makakuha ka ng dalawang tamang sagot, tatlong tamang sagot, hanggang sa pitong tamang sagot. So, kahit anong man doon sa mga tamang sagot na makuha nyo, pasok sa probability. So, paano nyo gagamitin yung uh, calculator sa pag-compute nitong mga to? So, kung gagamitin nyo siya manually, ang mangyayari niyan, kukunin nyo yung probability ng 0, probability ng 1, probability ng 2, 3, hanggang 7. Pagkatapos, ia-add nyo siya lahat para makuha nyo yung sagot dito sa probability question na to. Pero since yung calculator nyo ay makaka-generate noong binomial probability, using this function, hindi nyo na kailangan kunin yung or isa-isahin yung probability na ito using the formula. So, what you need to do is use this syntax since ang probability question natin is x less than or equal to 7 kasi at most 7 nga, lalagyan nyo lang yung 10 which is your n, probability of success which is 0.2 at yung number of um, success which is 7. So, pag ginamit nyo yan, magkakaroon ka ng 0.9999 na sagot. Which means, 
highly possible na makakuha ka ng at most 7 questions doon sa questions. Well, it's not necessarily 7 out of 10. It could be 6 out of 10, or 5 out of 10, or 4 out of 10, or 3 out of 10. At ang probability daw nun is 99.9%. So, there's a 99.9% that Marcus will get at most 7 of the questions right by guessing. So, once again, yung malaking number na to kasi kung makakuha ka ng... Uh, 0 out of 10, pasok pa rin yun dito sa probability model nyo. Or kung makakuha ka ng 3 out of 10, pasok pa rin yun. Kaya, most likely mangyayari na magkakaroon ka ng at least ta one tamang sagot dito sa uh, 10 item test kapag nanghula ka. Now, ibahin naman natin yung inequality. So, in this case, what is the probability of getting at least seven of the questions correctly by guessing. So, magkakaroon ng kaibahan dito sa paggamit ng technology kasi visually, ito yung ating uh, probability model for the 10 item test. So, makakuha ng one. Dapat meron dito yung zero. So, dagdagan natin. So, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, ang calculator nyo, pagka ginamitan nyo siya ng binome, CDF na function, ang kukunin niya lang or ibibigay niyang value will be the value to the right or to the left. So, itong mga values na ito yung makukuha niyo. So, hindi niya ibibigay yung value to this side. So, kailangan yung gamitan ng logic sa paggamit ng calculator. So, ang gagawin niyo para masagot itong uh, question na to, probability of x greater than or equal to 7, kunin niyo muna yung area or yung probability from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 using the calculator and then subtract it from 1. So, bakit ka magsisimula sa 6 at hindi sa 7? Kasi pag nag-umpisa ka sa 7, makakount yung 7 at pag sinubtract mo siya from 1 or kukunin mo yung complement niya, ang makukuha lang will be 8, 9, and 10. So, magiging off yung sagot nyo. So, hindi magiging tama. So, make sure at tandaan nyo na yung behavior nung calculator nyo, kinukuha niya yung mga area to the left. Kaya, magsa-start ka ngayon sa 6. Para ang makukuha mo pag Sinubtract mo siya from 1 will be 7, 8, 9. So you have 1 minus binome CDF times 10, I mean, with 10, comma, 0.2, comma, 6. So once again, wag mong ilalagay na 7 kapag greater than or equal to 7 yung inyong inequality. Kasi magiging mali yung sagot nyo. So you have 1 minus 0.9991 kasi ito yung binome CDF ng 10.2 and 6. Subtract it from 1 at yung probability niya will be really, really small. Kasi ang kinukuha nyo na ay mag magkaroon ka daw ng 7 correct answers or 8 correct answers, 9 correct answers or 10 correct answers out of 10 by guessing. Kaya ang probability niya for happening is 0.09%. So there's 0.09% chance of getting at least 7 of the questions right by guessing on a 10-item test.